In the third lesson of this tutorial on MySQL and PDO, we learn how to retrieve data using the query method. In the file connect.php, we've set up a PDO connection and wrapped it in try catch clauses to control the error messages sent to the browser if something should go wrong. We'll comment out the var dump line, change the error message to something which gives no hint of what's wrong and now we'll look at how to get records out of the database and display them in the browser. The first method we'll use is the query method. We'll make a new file called query.php. We'll start out in this by including connect.php. There are several ways to display data. This first one is a simple SQL query and a for each loop. This isn't specifically tied to PDO, you could use it with any connection type. We'll start out with for each, and in the parentheses we'll use the query method working on the $db object that we set up in the connection script. And inside the parentheses of the query method we put our SQL query string. We'll select everything from the names table with select star from names. And each time this for each loop runs, we'll assign the single result returned to an array called dollar row using as dollar row. Then we can retrieve each of the database fields using dollar row first name, dollar row last name, etc., using the key names of the associative array that's being returned. And using PHP concatenation dots, we can return one row at a time of data from the database, each one ending with an HTML line break, so that we get one record on each line. Go and load that up in the browser. It'd be even better if we had some spaces in between the fields, so let's put those in. The only issue with this is that we'd have to escape the output before displaying it, using, for instance, HTML entities to guard against odd characters messing things up. So I'll wrap each of those array references inside HTML entities. Another way to retrieve data is to use one of the fetch methods, and we'll look at this in the next lesson.